Every Saturday evening, most children in Maku community come out to play in a playground close to the market. One Saturday in November, a few months after Nigeria was declared wild polio free in August 2020, the children came together to play. They were racing, skipping, playing tag and football as usual. It was a happy time. Residents of the community had received news of Nigeria's wild polio-free status with joy. Given how much they had suffered from polio in the past, they thought it was truly over. Sadly, they didn't know that there was more to be done to ensure a polio-free community and country. For example, in their rural community, not all children were vaccinated against polio, and this meant that they had low population immunity. Therefore, circulating vaccine-derived polio virus type 2 could emerge at any time. As the children played, Musa's football fell in a pit. They called, and after a bit of a struggle, they finally succeeded in bringing out the ball. Unfortunately, the pit had polio virus from excretions of children who had received the live attenuated oral polio vaccine, and this, of course, got on the ball. Weakened polio virus is mostly found in drains, ditches, and sockaway pits, and people who are unvaccinated can contract it. Having rescued their ball, the children resumed their play, and afterwards, Musa and his friends, who having handled the ball and come in contact with the virus, mingled with their other friends, and without washing their hands, shared snacks with them. Polio is contracted when your hand or an object that has feces on it comes in contact with your mouth. Water or food that is contaminated with infected feces can also spread polio. You can also contract it by breathing in droplets from a cough or sneeze of an infected person. Inevitably, the virus began to spread in the homes of the children who had been at the playground and had had some form of contact with Musa and his friends. Their family and other community members began to fall sick. There was yet another polio outbreak in the community. Despite Nigeria's wild polio-free status, the country is still experiencing the transmission of circulating vaccine-derived polio virus type 2 as a result of low vaccination rates and unvaccinated children coming in contact with excretions from children who have received the live attenuated oral polio vaccine. This is exacerbated by poor environmental sanitation. Nigeria has come a long way in the fight against wild polio virus, but as long as circulating vaccine-derived polio virus type 2 cases are still being reported, the battle is still on. To better address ongoing outbreaks of type 2 vaccine-derived polio virus, as recommended by WHO, the government of Nigeria is deploying an additional outbreak response tool, the Nouvelle Oral Polio Vaccine, which does not pose the same risk of circulating vaccine-derived polio virus type 2 and is specifically designed to protect children from the only type of polio virus that remains in Nigeria. Children under 5 years must continue to be vaccinated against vaccine-preventable diseases to significantly reduce preventable deaths. Nigeria must work to strengthen ongoing surveillance systems in all states and border communities to ensure that any potential outbreaks are contained. <laughs>